situation did not tell me anything and the policeman they did not tell me anything about when my wife is dead like the video i took shows that i know my wife is dead. no one come to me and tell me like my wife is dead no one I don't know for them, but they don't care about me. They don't want to know how, how am I how I am doing. They don't want to know, so they don't care. They said they want to take my wife to the big hospital. Then I said I want to follow my wife at the big hospital. Then they said, Okay, okay, no problem. Then after they took my wife and put my wife inside the ambulance, then I want to go there. Then they said, no, I should go in the police car. Then when I go to the police car, then they drive me at the police station. Then they took my wife at the hospital. Then from them, I still have the evidence, like when they shoot my wife, the cloth of my wife. I know that that one is a big evidence for me, so Maybe when they find out I have the cloth, maybe they will come and remove it for me. So I want to take photos so that I can have it on my phone. Then the policeman saw me, like seeing me taking photo with the cloth. Then after come behind me, two policemen, then they uncuff me behind. They remove the cloth in my hand. After when they took my wife at the hospital, they took me to the police station with some of, with some other people. Then they took our information. Then from them, they drive us like six to seven hours. I don't know the name of the place. Then when we go there again, they took some information. When they took our information, then one policeman come and said, now maybe we leave us to continue our journey to go to Sabia. Then all of my friends, some of them, they are happy. Then me, I told the policeman, I'm not going anywhere without I don't know anything about my wife. I need to stay here to fight justice for my wife. Иако знаел дека може да реагира и со тоа свесно да го доведе во ризик животот и телото на останатите присутни, обвинетиот му се приближил на второ осудениот кој наеднаш се свртел и се втурнал во обвинетиот, замавнувајќи со десната рака кон вратот на обвинетиот, по што се нафрлел врз него, обидувајќи се да му го одземе пиштолот. Обвинетиот и покрај тоа што бил свесен дека на местото на настанот има оголема група на лица мигранти, Како и тоа дека во раката држи огнено оружје полно со муниција, се впуштил во борба со второ осудениот и при тоа испокал еден истрел предизвикувајќи значителна опасност за животот и телото на насобраните лица. Испоканиот истрел ја погодил Фатмата Камара од Сиера Леоне, која седела на задното седиште во возилото, нанесувајќи и повреда во задниот дел на десното рамо. Па како резултат на задобиените повреди, мигрантката починала од како била принесена во јавната здравствена останава Обшта болница Гевгелија. The message I want to spread to the world about the justice of my wife, like I want the world to know what happened in Macedonia, so I want the truth to be come out, that's why I need justice for my wife. That this thing will not happen to another people again, that's why I need justice. Even my wife's family too, the same thing they need to. Like what I need is what they too they need.